all right everybody so welcome back to the channel so on this video you know i'm going to go over how to find wholesalers distributors using google because this is one dm i seem to get constantly from time to time to time is bro how do you find your first supplier how do you do it i can't find nothing what am i doing wrong and so i'm going to get hop on here i'm on google right now i'm on the incognito mode just because you know to show you guys that you can really start this from scratch and legit start looking for suppliers because Google is probably one of the best ways to look for them it's probably one of the easiest way to look for them so just keep that in mind because you know it also means that anybody else could find them as long as they have a Google you know access to Google now keep in mind just because you find these suppliers like I tell people plenty of times does not mean that you're guaranteed to open an account with them but again wholesale is a numbers game so, you know, the more suppliers that you search for, the more you find, the more accounts you're bound to open. So, without further ado, be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and let me know what you guys think. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, you know, when searching for suppliers, there's many ways you can go about it, right? So, you can start either with the brand that you, you know, maybe want to sell. So, maybe something like... I don't know, crab cheese, Legos, uh, you know, brands like that, Nike, whatever. Uh, Nike's gonna be a hard one to find though, like a legit wholesaler, so <laughs> good luck with that one. But you can start with that. Uh, if you have a product that's already selling well for you, maybe you're doing some OA, RA already, and you wanna just buy it in volume, then you can also start with that as well. Uh, but usually you can just go directly with the brands and see what's up. But, or you can start even with categories. So, you know, you can start maybe with home decor uh, suppliers, uh, grocery suppliers, uh, arts and crafts suppliers, beauty suppliers, uh, pet suppliers, does not matter. You can start with any category you want as well. So, let's see. So, let's start with, uh, you know, category. Uh, let's start with the pets. So, one of the first thing you want to do is just, you know, you want to type in, I don't know, you want to type in pets wholesalers uh, pet supply wholesalers so I'll put that real quick hope oh, my bad pet suppliers and look right away wholesalers distributors now you want to skip the ones that show an ad right here all right you don't want no ads popping up with you now you want to skip all this as well and so we'll start with the first ones now Go to the first page, you might you want to hit control, hold it down, and just open up every single tab. Because you'll never know what you find, right? You want to see if they're even legit or what. So we're opening up every single one except the ad ones. So let's start. So let's see, wholesalepet.com. So it'll appear to have categories, vendors, brands. It'll give you an option to register, even the email number, and right away you can see the. Let me see. Look in the last slide. Uh, the discounts, in the industry. So yeah, right away we found one pet supply right away. It even tells you some of the brands they actually carry. So this is actually a distributor, if I'm correct. Yep. So just like that, we found our first wholesaler right from the jump using Google. And you can even go by vendors, or if you're looking for certain brands, you know, let's try this one, like Kong. If you're looking for a particular brand, that you know, a pet brand, they'll have it. And yeah, you can see through here their whole catalog of products: some plush stuff, a bunch of toys, and. Yeah, it, it even asks you for a login to view the pricing, which is something you want to keep in mind when looking for legit wholesalers, is that if they're legit, they're not going to show you the pricing up front. You will have to make an account to see that pricing. So, this is good. We found one. All you're going to need to do is register. Uh, just fill out this form, email, password, company. If you have a website, insert that as well. Uh, your tax reseller ID, another good indicator that it's a legit wholesaler they need to re request your tax ID, your reseller's permit, whatever you're going to call your EIN. If they don't request that, they're not a legit wholesaler. All right, and this is so that they don't charge you the taxes for it. But yeah, just like that, we found one on the first page. Boom. 
So now, now that we know that this one's legit, let's go into the second one. Limar Pet Wholesale Pet Supplies. So it looks like they give you option to sign up, member login. Limar Wholesale Pet Supplies have been serving pet shops. Free shipping, no minimums, huge selection. So although you can even drop ship with this supplier even. So let's go to their catalog real quick. We'll just pick that up for this example. Free shipping at 250. Okay. So right away we see some stuff right here. Let's click on this. Click a little deeper. And stop and stop. So that doesn't even want to show you the pricing, which again is a good thing. Most likely you won't be able to see it until you actually make an account with them. Now let's see if we go to sign up. So it's asking for your email, password, business name, address, shipping address, type of business, products you carry, uh, you sell tax ID. Yep. So this is a legit wholesaler. You can literally sign up with this wholesaler if you wanted to right now. But we just found our second wholesaler just like that. Now let's do our third one. Look, 5% off your order. Hey, 5% is a big difference. Look right up here. Log in to see pricing or sign up to create an account. So this is already a legit wholesaler right, right from the jump. So let's see. Wholesale dental products. Oh, just click anything right now. Yeah, it just gave you the product name and stuff. No pricing. Boom. We just found another wholesaler. Free ground shipping on qualifying 150 or more. Yep. So just like that guys, look at that. We're already finding wholesalers, suppliers. I mean, it's really not that hard. Uh, like I said, the hard part is actually making an account with these suppliers. Some of them may deny you, some of them won't. It just again it's just a numbers game. But finding them is easy. You can see we already found three of them right from the jump, just from scratch. Uh, let's see, let's try this one. So this one's actually showing some pricing. So imports and closeout. So this is one of those suppliers that I guess you could say they are a wholesaler, but they're not like a deep, like, I don't know, like a legit business to business wholesaler with us. You can most likely get in there from other, like, distributors maybe and then just marking up the price a bit for us um i don't like that it's showing the price and i keep scrolling down but it keeps loading more stuff up i don't like that either just like this one yeah see uh i'm gonna skip over this one so i don't like this one you guys can decide to determine if it's worth it i just, just click on register real quick so it's asking so i sell it for percentage of hmm. So it does give you a representative, okay. Now I don't know if you log in to make an account right away because it's not asking for your permit or anything. If it's not asking for your permit, uh, I, I wouldn't bother. But we'll skip over this one real quick. Animal, Animal Supply Co. So let's see this one. Uh, not much on the front page. It's going about us, local everywhere, it's the nation's leading distributor of wholesale pet products. So, yeah, because it's a distributor, we'll find another one right away. Uh, it doesn't look like they have much, let's see, contact us, because I'm not seeing the login or sign up page anywhere. Wait, partner with us, so let's see, retail partnership, so you definitely want to become a retail partnership. Are you currently a no? Okay, so look at this. It's asking to validate owner of business, ownership of business details, resale permit, good. Payment information, contact, delivery, website, photos of retail. So this might be one of those that they want a retail store, which is an online presence. In this situation, I would probably give them a quick call and see what they say about that. Because we it even has internet retailer, so huh. But yeah, give them a quick call, see what they say, and I guess go from there. But just like that, we find another uh, distributor. Let's see, Texas Wholesale. Uh, let's see. So we find another one. 
log into view prices so right off from the jump we found another one I mean guys look at that wholesale facts delivery facts general inquiries yeah we literally just found another one so that's freaking awesome uh, I'm gonna try to speed it up just because you know to show you guys King wholesale pet supplies register let's see so it looks like it's just a catalog you might have to actually register too oh no there's the browse I already clicked it then to sell into dealers, to turn into offer personal sales or service to the retail market. Uh, that's just us, because we are selling as retail. But let's see, hmm, type of business, third party seller. Oh, so it actually gives you that option for third party seller. And again, tax ID. So, boom, just like that, guys, we have found another supplier. And again, that's just with the pet category, you know. You can even mix it up and try grocery distributor or something, or grocery wholesalers. So let's see what pops up. Let's do that. This I'm just gonna open like two or three though. I don't want to take too much time. Oregon wholesale. That one shows prices. I don't know how I feel about that one either. That's that one. So looking at the page, and you know some of these distributors, especially distributors, not brands, they won't have the fanciest websites. They won't have like, like some of the other ones. Like which one was it? Like this one, also Pet or Lemar. Those look really clean. They won't have all this and that, which is better because those are even harder. So let's see. Ah, oh, registered login to see price. Boom, just like that, guys. Another supplier. Yeah, look like they got some good stuff too. Huh. I'm about to check them on myself. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, dang. Just like that, we're finding suppliers, guys. Just the fact that it shows register login to see pricing, that's a good sign. Yeah, see, you got a great account. I didn't hear about us. If I was basically trying to make an account with them, yeah, I would definitely check them out. But, well, yeah, it's pretty crazy, just like that we're finding suppliers. And again, that's just what the, what do you call it, in the category, like, just pet supplies and groceries. Again, if you want to try brands, I mean, it's not too difficult either. Uh, let me see, let's look for a brand that we're looking at. Uh, let's do one from here. Hmm. Let's try Kellogg's. So, I don't know what's we'll type in Kellogg's. Distributor. So distributor looking. So let's see. Right away, it looks like the actual website. Yeah. So they actually have a distributor locator. That's freaking amazing. You can see when it's captured. Yeah. So right here, it actually gives you a list of all the places that has basically distributors location uh, for the purpose of this video I'm not gonna put that <laughs> but yeah you can see right away it gives you three I mean no, six different wholesalers distributors to actually check out and right away you just found six distributors that carry Kellogg's products not to mention they probably carry even more products aside from Kellogg's so if you click on them check them out go find even more stuff I mean that's that's pretty cool I don't know why this it's weird this is you know they carry like uh Kellogg stuff just a bunch of like other parts and whatnot hmm, I don't know they would put that compressor worlds but who knows maybe they do maybe we do some deeper research into this website maybe they actually do uh provide it otherwise they wouldn't have it on here uh, let's try one of the other ones global hmm that's weird let me see hold on this might actually no this is actually an error thing wow it was Kellogg Americans we looking at the wrong thing that's so weird what the hell sorry about that guys Kellogg's away from home. Ah, oh, we were on the wrong one. 
well, I'm not even gonna cut this out just because I want to show you guys that you know sometimes there's there's mistakes to be made when so you know searching for these. But zip code, uh, let me Google it. Random zip code. Up. What's a Florida zip code? Mm, three two two four four. Let's try that. So now I just typed in a zip code that was randomly from Florida, and it looks like it, it's no, it actually is the same thing. It actually popped up with a lot of distributors around Florida. So if you live in Florida, this is gonna help you out right here. So let's some of this trouble. Shit. Just open up a second tab. Fall conference. Launch operation. Distributor. Yeah, this is definitely, huh? What's the code I use? Three two two four four. Search by state. Let's try Florida. Oh wow! Hold up. So this website actually just popped up with even more suppliers, like a ton of them. So right from the get-go, you can use Unipro Food Service, and it's like they provide 66 different things. So let's, let's try the first one. Mm, so it gives you like the location and stuff. Uh, oh, here it is. The website. American Food Distributors. Here's the website. And let's give it a few minutes to load real quick. Seconds. Uh, let's see, single serving, CNH sugars, okay, I've sold a few CNH sugars products before, so, free recipe book, no thank you, <laughs> uh, let's see, products, let's go on these, brand, size, so, yeah, I sold some of these, I think I've sold, these right here. Application benefits, contact sales. Hmm. So it's because it gives you a link for Amazon. These distributor partners. Oh snap, so this is actually okay, this was a brand we were looking at. So this gave you the list of distributors you can actually wow. So we just went through a whole rabbit hole guys. We went from the Kellogg's website to Unipro Food Service to this American Food Dist, and now we got the actual list of distributors. So now let's click one of these for sure. Oh, look, they're hiring. <laughs> become a supplier. Uh, let me see. Become, I think it'd become a customer. About your business. Yep. Is up to the public. No. We have a loading dock. Be an online distributor, yeah. So, this is definitely where you want to go in case you want to make an account with them. That's yeah, that's cool. And here's the brands they actually carry. It's a brand I never heard of. Oh, no, no, some of them, yeah. Oh, wow. And that was just off of that one. You could even, you know, try a different one. See what's up with that. And look at this, guys. Perfect. I love this website, it has nothing special about it. Like, wow nothing and something like this you might actually have to google separately and look for your contact page and stuff so that's even better because a lot of people won't even want to do that but well let's try this one i see like this you're spending time you're spending the, you know putting in the work just searching sourcing looking for these suppliers you know just taking up that time i mean look at this just in this video we've probably opened up like what 20 tabs alone looking for suppliers i mean that's insane so it's like the same thing as sourcing products. You just, you know, sourcing suppliers. Now if you scroll down here, this is actually, let's see, if you're in the south with your food service distributor. So this is only covering, uh, what is it, five states? Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Mississippi, and Tennessee. So if you live in those five states, you just find yourself a supplier. And if you don't, uh, I probably won't even bother because they probably won't even ship to you. But, yeah, it looks like it's asking for simple information. Pretty easy to sign up. 
email sign up so just for the newsletter a website like this I would probably call directly yeah there's a number so I'll call them try to see what's up with an account speak to someone who manages wholesale accounts and yeah you can go from there but yeah wow so now I don't want to take up too much time just keeping sourcing and on whatnot because this is just to show you guys how to get a little you know general idea of what to look for and whatnot but yeah it's crazy that the amount of stuff you can find the amount of suppliers you can find just from a simple google search and keep in mind that's just from the front page i don't know which one we're at but yeah and not to mention who click this i forgot which one would click but you can still go and click the other ones and go deeper into deeper rabbit holes finding more distributors more suppliers and i mean it's just an endless supply of suppliers like that's why i tell people like dude you're not putting in the work you like there's suppliers out there trust me and just like that we found that in just this i don't know how many minutes we're in the video but we found a ton of suppliers uh just of one page each one category one brand and so yeah it's endless out there and not to mention you can get more specific add in your specific city your specific state zip code and really going deeper and more narrower with finding suppliers so hopefully this video gave you some ideas on where to start how to start looking for these distributors wholesalers whatever you want to call them and, you know hopefully help you guys out get a general sense because if you're thinking of starting wholesale yeah this is definitely how you want to start your you know sourcing with suppliers now obviously there's other ways on how to do it which i'm not about to fit in one video and taking up a whole hour but yeah so aside from that hopefully this video helped you guys if it did you know be sure to smash that like button drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think if you find it useful or if you you know you want me to go even deeper and stuff which i probably will anyways but yeah so hopefully that helped and on to the next one guys so peace